Hello, I'm Joey and welcome to my tour of props and artefacts. Today I'm going to talk about this alien's head from a theatre show. A theatre show, you say? Why is this a theatrical prop? Well anyway, um, this is, I think it's beautiful. Basically, this comes from Alien War, which was a live attraction at the Chocadero. Um, in the early 90s, I had the pleasure of going there when I was a kid and I was actually touched by one of the aliens. Now, the experience was supposed to be frightening and it was frightening, but being touched by the alien was a really cool moment. That wasn't frightening at all. So this comes from Alien War. Um, basically, I bought this online many years ago. It was quite expensive and um, I took a chance. They didn't they didn't um, pretend that it wasn't, they, they said it was from Alien War, they didn't try and dress it up as anything else. They did happen to mention that a lot of the Alien War stuff came from the same moulds as the original films, which is believable because a lot of the impressions on this head you can find on the original props. So we've got this join line down the front of the head here. Um, you can see that on the original props as well. So it's more than likely that this did come from uh, the original moulds, but this is actually from Alien War, not from the film Aliens itself. What I love about it is the paint job is very, very prop-like. I mean, look at the way this is painted. This is, this is almost rushed. Now, it made me wonder, because Alien War was, was made by enthusiasts, and I know someone who, who used to work for them, and I said, well, how comes this head has been really painted quite roughly? Uh, I mean, I know they were only ever seen under strobe lighting, so there was a lot of that element to do with it. And I just assume, you know, there'd be one or two of these, maybe five of them. But he said, no, they made 50 of them. So that kind of clearly made sense why this is so properly made. Uh, you know, yeah, not prop, well, properly made and properly painted. Because another thing that shows it's a prop is it's got a hell of a lot of air holes in it which I imagine normally would be turned down. Okay, if this is a background prop on a film, you wouldn't worry. But generally, um, I think you would turn this away with all these uh, air holes. But look, look at all this flashing as well. This is known as flashing when the, um, when the rubber hasn't really been cut out very well, or it's like, like anything, basically, that's not sanded properly. Um, if we turn the head around here, you can see the age is getting to it, unfortunately. See the kind of cracking down below here on the jaw. Now, unlike the film props, this doesn't have a lower jaw. It literally just is almost like a skeleton jaw. Um, the teeth have been stuck on later. They're, they're latex. So I'm going to put this on and show you roughly how these work. Now, there'll be a lot of Aliens fans that will know how these work, but the people who don't, here we go. And I'll explain a little bit more which, what makes this a prop as well when we look on the inside of the head. It's very dusty, it's very difficult to dust this. So basically what you would do as an actor, same as the film ones, this goes on your head. And there we go. Ah, goes on your head and what you wear, you wear a neck that covers up just about there. So you can just about use your eyes. So of course you've got all this movement then, you know, and that's that's exactly how the, um, the actors would have moved these in the film. It's a cobweb right through the mouth there. So that's that. Now, what makes this very, very kind of, what makes me think this has had a theatrical life is, right, so, there we go, turn it upside down. So, <laughs> look at the way the head strap's been put in. So, uh, whoa, spider. <laughs> well, that's, that's cool. Um, I'm going to leave you there for the time being, as long as you don't run around too much. So anyway, if you can see, mind the spider, you can see at one stage in its life, this has had, I tell you what, I am going to, I'm going to, it's all sod. So at one stage in its life, this has had um, a headpiece glued into there. You can see the glue there. But what's very interesting, again, is that obviously at some point the headpiece has failed and they've put this Velcro strip in. But look how it's been hurriedly stapled in. Um, now that's very prop like, that's very theatrical, it's very kind of, well it's just got to work, we've just got to do it. Um, interestingly enough as well, the jaw, one side has been glued in with Evo stick, whilst the other side is literally just held in oh, with wire. I don't know if you can see that there, but it's literally just roughly held in with wire, twisted round wire. 
And another thing that's very theatrical about this, look at all the goo in the jaw there. Now it's all running up the inside of the mouth. So it's almost as though this was dressed maybe with goo in the mouth, saliva. And then it's just been put somewhere to dry. And of course it's run all on the inside of the mouth. Or maybe that was a result of literally someone getting the saliva on their hands, putting it in the mouth. And of course, obviously, actually that's what I now fit, that's what I now actually think. You put the saliva in the mouth and naturally you're gonna you're gonna drip it on the inside of the mouth as well. Um, don't know where that spider went. <laughs> but um, yes, that's that's it really. Quite a short video of my alien warhead. Uh, it's absolutely beautiful. I love it. It's a. Sh it's it's still very very strong for its time. It's made of some kind of weird. It's made of a black foam, which has still got a lot of life left in it. Um, I'm trying to think the best way to describe the foam really. It's just very very coarse black foam. So it looks like it's gonna survive a long time. But yeah, I think the bottom jaw. No, the bottom jaw is the same foam as well. That's starting to go a bit crusty. I think mean, that's more the latex they've painted over the jaw to give it some kind of colour and the teeth are latex as well. So um, that's it basically. Um, look after yourselves, stay safe. I'm Joey, this is my tour of uh, props and artefacts. This is my alien head with uh, added spider. Don't know where he's gone, but uh, there you go. Cool. See you later.